Over the past year, a group from St. Stephen's Episcopal Church and a few friends from nearby churches have developed a vision for a labyrinth and a pollinator garden to complement the existing celebration garden and outdoor chapel. Across the centuries and around the world, people have been drawn to build and walk labyrinths. Walking a labyrinth can help to clear and calm our minds. The Catholic activist Dorothy Day wrote this, Walking, I am listening to a deeper way. Suddenly all my ancestors are behind me. Be still, they say. Watch and listen. You are the result of the love of thousands. Time spent in nature can rejuvenate us. The site for our future labyrinth garden is at the south end of South Perry Street, perched on the bluff overlooking the Lata Valley. We are situated among the Ponderosa, poised on the edge of the rolling wheat fields of the Palouse. Poet and farmer Wendell Berry wrote this, I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. We want our labyrinth garden to embrace creation. Native pollinators and other beneficial insects are struggling from loss of habitat and exposure to toxins. We want to grow a garden which is not only beautiful and inviting, but also regenerates the land, its soils, waters, and creatures. Our garden will be designed using plants which support pollinators and other beneficial insects. Caring for creation and for each other is inextricably intertwined. The Labyrinth Garden can be a sanctuary for both people and wildlife, a place to experience harmony with our natural environment. The garden will be multi-sensory, inviting us to walk the labyrinth, surrounded by the sights, sounds, and smells of fragrant plants, alive with beneficial insects and small birds. A place for renewal and healing of each other and our land. Our plans are still evolving. We installed a temporary labyrinth for the fall festival and another for Christmas. We plan to try a five circuit labyrinth this spring. We want to use landscaping materials that blend with our surroundings. We envision boulder benches. We imagine a kiosk to post upcoming events and share educational information. This is how our labyrinth garden might eventually look. It will take time to rally the community and raise the money we need to complete our vision. After that, it will take a few years to grow the plants that our local pollinators rely on. We must be patient. Consider this as your community labyrinth garden. We look forward to hosting community celebrations, presentations, work parties, and fundraisers. If you are interested in helping with the St. Stephen's Labyrinth Garden Project, please contact the office at St. Stephen's.